It's funny how we actually get a huge step closer to our main character's main objective just to officially get friends on. <laughs> What's good, y'all? Master Cell here. Uh, Raindrops, episode 7, review. My reaction to this episode is in the description below. Hit that up. Thank you very much. Now, straight up, man. This episode, man. Man. It really kind of just touched up more on what happened last week, you know. The whole thing about she wanted to know more about the guy. But, you know, I guess you could say this time she figured out how little she knows about Kondo. Tachibana, I mean, you know. It's like, oh my god, what just happened? It's because, you know, the whole thing with that. When he said that line, the way, his name, well, the way he said it definitely did play into it. When he said, you know, shit about me. That was, I mean, Yeah. Because, you know, that's kind of this kind of feeling anybody would get when she's just saying stuff out of nowhere that has nothing to do with anything you're talking about. And you're just making all these assumptions, you know what I'm saying? I was like, it's a friend of mine. Well, you lied anyways, Kondo, so what the fuck you expect? But, <laughs> but he was like, he's a friend of mine, acquaintance, I guess. Oh, so you're a friend of this person? That's amazing. That was amazing person that they wrote the book. I mean, I can't believe you knew this person. You knew this guy? You knew this guy? Good job. You don't know shit. Damn. Kondo got sick for real. Well, when they said he had the cold, you know, well, a lot of people just feel under the weather, at least 2% under the weather. Motherfuckers don't come to work. You know how it is. Uh, the only time I ever called out, you know, because I work overnight and it was freezing two months ago. So, yeah. I had a cold. I was feeling very sick. I'm not about to be in a freezing truck all night acting like that cold is going to get better. So, that's when I called out. I was more sick than Kondo, so he could take his ass to work on a plane. He hang around food. You can't be sick hanging around food. Like, if you're a waiter and stuff like that, and you get sick, and you set first passing out people's food, you can't go to work. That's just not, that's not even right. But anyways, man. Just that back to the freaking episode. When, when Tachibana showed up at Kondo's house and her hair was flying over the place, that was a power up. <laughs> but basically, she just went over there was depressed as fuck, like, I don't know anything about you. He's like, yeah. I want to know things about you. They didn't work last week, you know? <laughs> Cause she, she still don't know jack about him. Now the, the fuck boy trying to get I didn't I didn't feel no advice from that. I didn't feel no sincerity. I didn't feel no helpfulness. That so called talk he had with her. No, no, you're a burden on touch him. But, but technically, you know, him putting that thought into her head kinda led her to the point where she was at. It's just that point at the end of the episode. Let's just talk about it, right? She the envision she had of herself naked. Hugging Kondo naked. And she, let's just be real about it, she got off on that. So, I get this. How do you say that you kind of ship it, but you'd be damned if it actually happens? <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, it's a conversation you have with this show. I don't give a damn how long the show's been going. I, I don't care. If you, the whole basis of the whole thing about them is them two getting together, and that's what the enjoyment factor comes into the show. Tasha Bond going through a trial tribulation trying to get with Kondo. Okay, but when they actually getting together, like them actually being a couple, the fuck? <laughs> I mean, really? That's the whole show fucking hell. I mean, come on, man. I, I'm... It, 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 that definitely puts you that 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 puts your mind into this that, that puts your mind into the space where you you have to decide for yourself when it comes to Tasha Bonda get it off get it off on a vision of her hugging condo butt ass nigga both of them butt ass nigga you have to decide where you stand on that side of the fence Tasha Bonda ain't happening but anyways anyways friend zone. And you know what? You know who decided that was the friend zone? It was a condo. It really was a condo. It was Tasha Bada. Because when she had that vision, she just stood up like, oh my god. Wait. Friends. And she just fell down like, fuck. Damn. That's when it hit. Because condo would just be like, that was a friendship hug. The fuck you talking about? Then his condo was talking that talk in that fucking vision he was having. I have me thought he was saying that out loud, man. What the fuck? Did that whole raindrop. That, that, that whole thing he was comparing everything to raindrop being caught in the rain and shit like that now, now he, he, even the way he approached the shit man 
That whole shit about him going over there, like even if I could, even if it has some kind of repercussions or whatever, if I could help her right now in this moment, that means he ain't gonna give a fuck. And now he's tripping balls. But here's the problem, man. That barrier that is there, the whole thing about him, you know, the author only break more likely his ex-wife. They haven't said it straight up, but we already know. But anyways, that whole barrier there is still there. And Tasha Bonnie, even though she had her hug with the man, all up in that man's shirt, just to finally get to this point, after three episodes tripping with his shirt, she just ran him not have one on. That's the Tasha Bonnie we're in right now. Basically, Tasha Bonnie just proved right now. Like, we already knew she liked the guy this whole damn time, but she basically laid the law down that she's sexually attracted to this man. I mean, it's one of those things you could have figured anyway, but now it's just, I mean, now... Just, you know. I don't know why the whole scene had to be like that. I mean, to me, it was a bit much, you know. And I can't pretend like there's no fan service in the show because every time Tasha Bond wears some shorts, let's be honest. But, you know, to me, it was a little strong, you know. Uh, this is episode seven. We got like five more guys there. Anyways, ah, uh, ah. Uh, and today was a good ass episode. I can give you that much. Ah. <laughs> uh. I was just touching bottom and turned Super Saiyan 3 was nice. I like how he got her in that damn taxi. That shit was hilarious. Doing the taxi, be like, get, 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 get that taxi, girl. girl. Just close the door before you get wet. Taxi driver, get the fuck home. <laughs> that boy umbrella broke. <laughs> you thought I thought, thought I was a salesperson. I didn't give a fuck if it was a salesperson. I was sick in my bed with the lights off, trying to sleep, sick as fuck, not trying to get out of this bed. You trying to ring that doorbell a million times without even calling me first to talk about you know me? The fuck I'm answering that door for? Yo, you can be out there for 40 minutes. That's where you caught your cold. Waiting that 40 minutes for me to actually get up. That 30 minute nap I took, then another 10 minutes for me to get a fuck, give a fuck, then answer the door. That's where you caught your damn cold. <laughs> anyways, anyways, man. Hope Kondo, see, that's where I go out, but playing on the ship, right? But you feel like Kondo should go over there, and you feel he should be able to check on Tasha Bob for being sexy, she did the same for him. If nothing else, just because. Just to play on the ship, which is basically the whole driving point of the show that you love so fucking much. But at the same time, you're sitting here like, this can't actually be a thing. This show is more conflicting than Citrus. How about that one? How's that? I dropped Citrus three episodes ago. But. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But those watching this show and Citrus at the same time, no matter what, you're worse off than I am, so. <laughs> Anyways, man. Ah, oh, this thing almost eight minutes. Well, like I said, my live reaction to this is in the description below. Hit that up. If you watch the video, leave a comment. Let know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Peace out. Touch your bond out here. You ever know, you, you, you know that sleep? Actually, fuck that. <laughs>